morning, I'm Pete. Good afternoon, I'm Matt. And we're finally back together filming. Back after lockdown. After now, the Monday after lockdown. Monday after. We're still we're playing it cautiously though. We've got the meter rulers out. Yeah. So don't come within two meters of me at any point. And we will be measuring periodically to make sure that we're not near each other. Can't take any risk, can you? So <laughs> anyway, we found a new app that allows us to 3D scan pretty much anything. It's called display.land. Let me just double check yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it's called display.land. Um, Very interesting actually, isn't it? It's just cool to be able to actually look around stuff in proper detail. Um, and the more time you put into getting your scan, the better quality it's gonna be. So a few crap if you run around a bit in five minutes, but if you spend 10 minutes and get a good HD scan, you'll effectively have a 3D model of your car that you can just look at. Really cool, crazy technology. So the, the actual scan file that we'll make of this car will be in the description. Um, and if you go into this and click on it, and you happen to, app, happen to have, and if you go into it and you click it and you have the app, then you'll be able to look around Project John in, in all of his gruesome, gory detail. Full detail. <laughs> yeah. and, and have a proper look at him yourself. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out. Okay, so how's this thing work then? So basically, in theory, on the app, you just, make sure you get all of the wide angles um, so it's got a good perception of the space and then you basically go in to get the really crisp HD stuff and, and like all of the finer detail so with like areas like the tyre here you want to make sure you go down so that you're getting all of the gap rather than just a, a right. top angle of that so that rather than sense. breezing over it it's kind of like stop get all the detail yeah same with the spokes, you want to go around it like that and then go in and out and try and make sure you get all of that detail because it tracks where the objects are so you want to make sure you give it that perception of distance. So, wow. And we've left the windows open, we've no idea how well that'll work. <laughs> Let's in theory of view. That's it's basically it. like uh, Forza when you can go on that, what's it called, that view that you can do on Forza? Auto something. Auto, oh, Auto Vista. Auto Vista. Yeah. It's like the world's worst Auto Vista on a project car because that's the quality on it. So I'm just going to start scanning now then. Okay, let's get scanning. This two meter re uh, ruler is really awkward. <laughs> Gotta be safe though. Yeah, yeah, too dry. The problem is, because the sunlight's hitting it, this is either gonna be great or it's gonna be absolutely awful. Also, it seems to be picking up random bits of floating gray stuff. <laughs> There's some bubbles that are just floating around and I've no idea what they're from. Okay. Whoa, 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 two meters. Oh shit, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Then I'll come within this two meters, mate. <laughs> Looking so good, that wing. All of the wing section now. I'm gonna go around and do all of that. The only problem I've got is I don't know how it's gonna interact with my shadow on this. Right, yeah. So that might be in some shots and then go. Yeah, like some dark patches, because effectively it's taking the texture with the model as well. Right. The good news is it's getting loads of that bush in the background. <laughs> right, already it's picking up the back way better than it picked up the side. So I that's think good. that's something to do with the sunlight on it, yeah, potentially. Yeah, maybe it's really bright. So I keep going around. Yeah, it's got loads of detail on this back. It's struggling a bit with the wing because there's nothing to catch the colour. I'm going to go along the side. Make sure we get this fuel cap guy in loads of detail. <laughs> Your favourite sticker. Yeah, I hate that thing. He's in loads of detail as well, lots of things. Haven't got any of the roof yet. Weirdly with the glass, it doesn't seem to pick it up. It just like picks up the dash on the inside of it. Right. So John gonna be glassless. It's already quite confused about it. Look. <laughs> you wanna try and get as much detail in here as possible. Really, just smother the car with these bouncy ball looking things. <laughs> and then around the front, where he's battered to crap. Okay. It's not bad. I think we've got most of it so far. Coming out all right. Seems to be. So if you look what's on the screen now. So the more I go around it, the more dots will appear on the car. And basically what you're aiming to do is completely cover the car in dots or to as much as possible. The more I cover, the better. The better detail. Yeah, exactly. So the more crisp it's going to be. So is it kind of like the... Um like the Lord of the Rings films where the guy who plays Gollum gets covered in balls. Oh, mocap, yeah. Kind same, of like sort that, of, same sort of concepts, yeah. You're, you're using that to track data, basically, yeah. and track the distance of those dots to each other. Uh, and that's how it works out where the mesh is going to be. Uh, and basically, I'm going to spend the next five minutes now going around it in, in crazy detail and make sure we get it in, in crisp HD. So. Okay. okay, so that's now submitted. Done. 
done. I reckon it's gonna take about 40 minutes to process Get based on my last one. Once it's done, I will put a link in the description. So by the time this video comes out, so I don't even know why I'm saying that, but click on that link and you'll be able to look around the car in all of his horrible detail and, uh, <laughs> and check him out for yourself. Yeah. Could be new things, project it. cars. <laughs> So I hope you like watching, short and sweet, just to get us back together again and a bit of fun with some new tech. Yeah, good to see everyone. See you on the next see one. See you on the next one. Whatever that is. <laughs> Cheers, guys. See ya.